in retaliation for Israel's deadly bombing of an Iranian consulate in Syria. President Biden has cut yeah. short his weekend in Delaware, has returned to the White House now to monitor developments. Air raid sirens and explosions are sounding over Israeli airspace tonight. We've also seen explosions near southern Israel lighting up the night sky. Iran launched dozens of drones and missiles directly on Israel's territory. U.S. and Israeli forces are in the skies trying to shoot them down before they can do any major damage. Our defensive and offensive capabilities are at the highest level of readiness. A post on X by the Iranian government through their permanent mission to the U.N. said the attack can be, quote, deemed concluded and warned the U.S. against getting involved. Though U.S. military officials tell Fox they have already shot down at least one Iranian drone. And we will do this calmly and with determination. Of course, a direct attack by Iran represents a dramatic escalation in Israel's war against Hamas in Gaza. The oldest son of Al Jazeera's Gaza bureau chief, El al just a few months ago, in October, he also lost 12 family members, including his wife, his 15-year-old son, his 7-year-old daughter, and his infant grandson in an Israeli airstrike. being killed, we're still hearing the same statements uh, that are calling for investigations. There are clear patterns. Yes, we haven't been able to establish every single case, but uh, uh, I'm sorry, but three months into a genocidal campaign that has made the Palestinian journalists a primary target for them, 9% of our journalists in Gaza have been killed.